my beauties, welcome back. I hope that you are all okay. Uh, so this week what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing something different. We're going to be going into what your person would like to say to you. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna channel it from the higher dimensions. And so actually what's gonna happen is I'm gonna speak as if I am your person. So literally, this is gonna be like them communicating with you. Which can be a bit weird, I know. But we're going to try it that way, okay? So this is deck number one and this is deck number two. These are two that I've got on my deck set up properly now so I can see them. Um, now these two are decks that I've never used on a public reading. I've used them on personal readings for myself but not on public ones. So you have the star child and you have the moon child. And I'd like you to pick whether you are a star person or a moon person. Okay, think about your person's energy as well and feel what deck they would pick, okay? So would your person pick deck number one, which is the star child, or would your person pick deck number two, which is the moon child? Because what we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to do it from their point of view. So not the deck that you would pick, but the deck that they would pick. Number one, number two. Star, moon, star, moon. Okay, let's go. So deck number one stars so we're going to do it as if it is your person communicating with you so let's get into deck number one's energy we're trying something new <laughs> deck number one's energy okay think about your person can we get into their people's energy please into their people's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and would like to know what their person would like to say to those people watching, what would they communicate to those people watching. That's what we are doing. And take the people's watching's energy out so it's just their people. I know. It's like a it's like a um, Jamie Oliver putting all the ingredients in a in a recipe, isn't it? Okay. Can you tell me what would their people say to them if they could? What would they like to say? What's the truth of the situation? One at a time, please, my beauties. Okay. What would their people like to say to them? We'll have both of them. Three, four. We need nine cards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Right, what would your person like to say to you? So first of all, they would bring up, with the majority of you watching that, number one, your person has stepped away from the situation. So they would say to you, I'm sorry that I've kind of stepped away from the situation. I was feeling very overwhelmed. I needed time to go away and process things. Um, I felt like some of you, were not all of you this isn't all of you but some of you were trying to put on me that this is a really spiritual connection and I don't really understand it and I can get a little bit freaked out by it all so I've backtracked from the situation I've took a step back to really analyze what is going on I know there's more in our relationship relationship that meets the eye um, but I haven't known how to handle it and I started to feel a bit vulnerable with regard to me and you so the easiest thing for me to do was to really just take a step back from the situation and go and get in check with my emotions and how I was feeling. I know that you were trying to see that the you have the power of foresight, a lot of them would say that. I know that you have the power of foresight, I know that you can see that there is a really strong connection and that we are meant to be together but you just need to give me a bit of time to catch up with this, okay? Your person's having this paranoia, this, this not paranoia but this worry, this concern that this is really deep, it's a bit intense, he doesn't that, sorry lads, they don't know how to handle it. So they've said, okay, just give me some time out whilst I reflect on the situation. Um, you will still, I know you'll still be there by the time I come back towards you. You're probably not gonna wanna hear that, but that's coming up as well. Um, they're saying, I have, I have object, um, I have a knowledge that this will work out between us in the end. I'm a great believer in fate and whatever's meant to be will be. Um, and once I've had this time apart, I will come charging towards you with love in my heart, unconditional love, and we can start to work out how this is going to work in the future. I'm reflecting on it now, but I am going to come running when the time is right. Or uh, just got wild horses come in by um, Rolling Stones, wild horses coming forward there. You have, um, 
nine of pentacles as well so they'd say um i feel like i've ha got to spend a bit of time by myself again remember it's never circumstantial so if they're with other people etc this is just the mutual energy so i feel and even if they are with other people they still want to spend time by themselves i feel that i need some time apart from everything to reflect on this situation to really stand on my own two feet i feel like i've kind of been led um through my life and now i'm standing in my power i'd like to see where i end up i have goals and i have ambitions and I want to try and make these work before I think about settling us down into a relationship uh, to the type of relationship that you want to be I really need to focus on myself for a while I know you feel that I lied to you I've also lied to myself because I haven't been able to handle the situation in the best way possible um, I've made some big mistakes I've made some errors I've said some wrong things I feel I've felt roped into situations and I found myself in situations that I haven't been able to get out of. You have been at the back of my mind whilst this is happening but I haven't known how to deal with this situation so I've gone with the flow of it. I've been coerced by other people, by other influences on me and I've listened to what other people have said and I've found myself in a case of denial. I'm hi hiding away from the reality of the situation as I'm trying to preserve myself at this moment in time. I can see that you're standing in your power and that you're getting stronger by the day. How I've treated you hasn't actually affected you that much. They would kind of say that even though they know it has. But they, because they're seeing you in this more kind of standpoint strong position, they would see that you were... Um, you were really in your power based energy and they can see that you're standing there strong so they'd say I can see you standing strong I can see you in your power um, and I'm very happy that you know this journey between us and um, we've kind of gone our separate ways for the time being but we will come back together when the time is right and in that time we will both go our separate pathways and we will grow um, and you are turning into a beautiful wonderful confident successful woman slash man that I always knew you would be You've got, I also fancy the pants off you, I, I find you very sexually attractive, um, there's a lot of passion between us, the sex is great when it happens, um, we have brilliant chemistry and I do think about you more than you think I do, um, almost a bit like, this card reminds me of Daenerys Targaryen, you know that very queen of swords energy, that power based energy, that these but not before she goes crazy these are my dragons these are my babies this is the the way that they often see you they can see you in a bit more of a vulnerable light on occasions um but because of how the situations unraveled and how you two have got into this position where you're standing strong despite their actions they see you in this power-based energy they would also say that i know you're not going to take my shit for much longer and i've really got to get a grip and get this sorted um they'd say that there is a coupling over here between us and that in the longer term it, it would they'd like it to go more than just passion if you get what i'm saying that they could see that the two of you could be further together and um, that they would in they'd enjoy spending time with you and um, they're a bit but again they're burdened by the situation at the moment as they're trying to analyze it they're over analyzing it they're adding two and two and making 30 but there is this love between the two of you so your person is kind of saying not yet but i'm hopeful that this is going to work out between us because i believe in fate essentially that's what's happening and um, that they've seen you grow as a very strong independent person you've got three queen cards over here there's also potentially the influence of other women being involved in this deck for deck number one and um, but all roads will lead back to you spirit are saying so even if they do go explore and um, what's happening with other women all roads will lead back to you because the love between the two of you is really strong and your person is actually going for this point of walking away realizing it getting ready to come all guns blazing chasing back towards you and um, the passionate energy is what dictates this as well they feel this very very strong sexual chemistry between the two of you they didn't know how to handle it they've pushed away from it to spend some time apart but they are on their way back uh, for those of you that are not in contact they're coming um they're working through this sense of denial that they've had really analyzing what's been going on um, and there is going to be an offer made from their part towards you as well okay it's coming they're coming back they do love you they just handled the situation really bad and they're kind of feeling a little bit sorry for themselves on how they've dealt with it how they've handled it and um, they're trying to kind of make the best trying to kind of trying to kind of make the best out of a difficult situation which is why they feel that they need this time alone 
um, but the, the, the pull towards you is too strong, they can't break it, they've been preserving themselves, they've had that sense of denial, but it's going to hit them like a thunderbolt spirit is saying that they need to do something about this situation, that they will wake up from it and that this it is going to come quite it's going to feel as if nothing is happening and then out of the blue this movement is going to come really quickly towards you as well so it's not going to be on your guys timings it's going to be on their timings and when they're ready and um, but this movement is there you know it let them wonder let them wonder because they will always come back so if you're feeling really low and that they've done a runner and they, they're not thinking about you and they don't care, it's not the case at all. In fact, this energy around them, if we go into the clear sentiments of it, it feels very sad, feels very heavy, feels very confused, feels very lost. Some of them are also suffering quite badly from headaches at the moment because my head is pounding. Um, they're a bit stuck and confused um, and they've got to kind of go their own way down their separate path for a little while before they make these moves back towards you, but it's coming. It is coming. There isn't a mutual timing on that, so if you wanted to look at individual timings, just drop me an email and we can get that sorted for you. So that's what they'd like to say to you for deck number one. They've handled the situation really badly um, and they know it, but on the other side of things, they can see that it's actually made you a very strong person, how they've handled it. And so, in a sense, they're not happy about how they've treated you, but they know that what's happened is you've become the person you are today and you're not going to take anyone else's shit and they're happy with that okay that's deck number one right let's do deck number two hello my beauties so this is our moon child so we're going into the moon energy what we're going to do like i said uh, at the start is that we're actually going to do this from your person's point of view we're going to channel with the higher dimensions so this is going to be as if your person is speaking to you which is a little bit weird but this is what they would say um to you if they if they could and then we'll do a little bit of a cover of what's actually going on as well okay can you get me into deck number two's energy so think about your person can we get into their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes of deck number two's people then I'm just going to take your guys' energy out. I said in deck number one, it's like Jamie Oliver, isn't it? Putting all the ingredients in, ready to get the right the right balance of it all. Um, and, 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 can you tell me what the people watching, what their people would like to say to them if they could? What haven't they said? What would they like to say to them if they could? So we're going to do nine cards like we did with deck number one. These decks are so beautiful. Four. What would they like to say? What would they say if they could, the people? I've got, was it the calls that sang dreams can come true? Dreams can come true. Do, 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 do. What would they like to say to them if they could? So again, it's going to work on your strongest mutual energy regardless of individual circumstances. So whatever's happening in your circumstances, it's just relating to everyone watching people. So if anything doesn't resonate, don't stress about it. <laughs> Just don't stress about it. Two more. Two more for deck number two. Let's not take all of them. Let's take the bottom one. Ah, you've got eight of cups as well. Right. Okay. So your person, deck number one, had eight of cups as well. So the most likely outcome at the moment is your person has kind of walked away from the situation. If they haven't walked away from the situation, they've been having time out. They have been uh, feeling that your person is feeling bombarded. So they would say to you, I've been feeling bombarded by roadblocks. It's not just you. I've got my own shit going on. I have stuff with work. I have stuff with family. Then I have stuff with you on top. I can't sort out my emotions. I'm surrounded in a big pile of ickiness. I don't know what direction I'm meant to be turning. I feel very stressed from it all. And to a certain extent, it's impacting my, um, my health a little bit whether that's mental health or physical health could be stress related but they say it's impacting my health a little bit I'm feeling very at the end of my tether I don't know what I'm meant to be doing 
what's happening to me on another level, on a kind of spiritual level at this moment, is that I am working through my demons. And if you can see at the bottom here, it's literally the shadow work. So every card in tarot has a shadow side to it. It's not all love and light. And this is why I don't read reversals, because each card has 78 different meanings. And it depends on who you're reading for what the other cards are around it. I don't read reversals, it's just my personal preference, um, and especially because I'm a medium and a channel spirit, we don't really need the reversals. Um, but every single tarot card has this shadow side to it, even the sun, all these major arcanas, they definitely have shadow sides to them. So your person is working on issues, um, they would say to you, I'm working on issues of codependency. They'd say, I'm working on issues of superiority. I'm working on issues with authority. I'm working on issues of ego and transcending, 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 transcending my ego. I'm working on issues that you want us to be together and I'm trying to work out how. Um, and this teams up with all of these individual situations means I'm about to blow a gasket, hence my mental health is suffering. So they're going through a lot of shit basically, not just in regard to you, in regard to life in general. So they're feeling very conflicted as well. Over here we have the five of swords and five of wands. So they'd say to you, um, the situation hasn't gone to plan. It's all ended a little bit abruptly. Um, I've said some stuff that I didn't actually mean to you in the heat of the moment, in the heat of anger. And I'm sorry for what I did say to you. Um, I felt that every pathway I was trying to do, you were blocking me. Oh, sorry guys. I felt that um, every time I made two steps forward, I was being dragged back down. And I went quiet on you whilst I was trying to work my own stuff out. And you thought it was all to do with you. I didn't communicate properly with you. Um, I didn't handle the situation appropriately. I didn't communicate properly. And this is what caused me to push away, back away, panic, freak out, run. So this is the reasons for it. Um... I know you're feeling like I've stabbed you in the back and left you alone. I know that you're feeling that you're struggling with this situation. Please know that I am struggling with it as well. I've handled the situation very badly. I felt like I was in sinking sand and that I was really losing my grip on it all. So I've had to back away from this to get my head all re uh, rational, rational. I am looking into deeper spiritual connections so they'll be looking at twin flames psychic soulmates um i've started to realize there's more going on than what i would like to admit i know that there's a higher power at play um, and i'm starting to research that because this isn't all coincidence that we are where we are and that we can't seem to break our cycle i've got a number of choices in front of me um I'm going to get myself in a more stable position and once I'm in that more stable position I'll be able to offer you the world and the sun. I'm going to be standing in my strong, remember this is never sexually orientated or gender specific, but my strong masculine power ready to make these choices and decisions and with the stability in mind. So basically in short your person knows that this situation has gone quite tits up and that they are responsible. They know that their actions have kind of caused your reactions they've run away from it they're hiding they're panicking they're stressing they're worrying um they really have got a lot on their plate and they're trying to take it all one step at a time to work it all through and doing this shadow work and they are dealing with this stuff you know they are experiencing dark nights of the souls where everything's coming up from their past to haunt them and they're working through it they're trying to work through it anyway um they know that they feel that they let you down and they hurt you um, and there is an element of remorse coming through with that as well. Again, it's your collective energy, but underneath it, there is this element of remorse from them. Um, you know, they know that you would always make an effort to see them. They know that you love spending time with them. And they, they handled it kind of appallingly, really, from their point of view. They didn't handle the situation great. They panicked. They lost their, they lost their shit and, and kicked off. Um, but 
they know that there's higher powers at work, they know that they're going to start researching it, get themselves into a more stable position and then there's this um, positive energy of them standing in their very strong, dominant, masculine power which will then bring the situation back around. I've just heard three months for your collective energy. So if you're not in contact, it is three months. If you are in contact um, and they are retreating from it, they just need that bit of space to work through it all and to process it. There is a deep love for them, for you. Um, they just, they're not very good when they get stressed out and dealing with situations that, that they're not very good at handling things when they're feeling overwhelmed and overburdened by stuff. They push, they push away and that's what's happened here and this is what's caused arguments and conflict and betrayals and loss and grieving and sadness. Your person's handled the situation really bad and they've took the easiest option which is kind of to just walk away, go to hide, not really communicate yada 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 but they're trying to start getting their shit sorted they're going to work through the shadow work they'll go for this dark time work their way through these dark times and when they come out the other side you have the complete opposite of the dark times you have the sun so you have the two literal sides of it here you have the shadow and you have the sun and remember the sun will illuminate the shadows like the moon will i haven't got a shadow on the oh i have got a shadow it's the claw you know, coming up to the claw energy, standing in the power, standing strong. But they've got to go through the darkness first to come out into the light. And that is what's currently happening with your person and what they would like to say to you. They are sad about how things have turned up, um, but they just couldn't cope with everything with what's happening with you, with everything else on top. They, they struggled. They didn't know how to deal with it. So they pushed away and, um, you know, you had this kind of hurricane tornado explosion, majority of you between between you both and they handled it really badly um, and there is that remorse there but they'll be back and, and ready to kind of crack down on you to go from, from the moon to the sun in quite a short space of time so don't over stress about it. There is that remorse there, there is that sorriness um, and they, they're just being idiots basically not handled it well, got really stressed out, too much going on all in once, all at once. And I just saw, you know, um, I did just see a cauldron and, you know, someone throwing all the bits into the cauldron and stirring the pot. That's what your person feels is going on. They're feeling like they're in this cauldron. Everything's going on around them. All these little herbs and ingredients are going in and they've got to try and sieve through it, work it out so that they can come out the other side and feel better about things. Um, but at the moment, they're spinning in this cauldron full of crap that they've got to work through. Okay, and that's deck number two. All right, my beauties, I have left all the details in the description. Um, I do readings, I do single question readings, 50 minute, half hour. I also do past life readings and life purpose readings as well. And as well as any other ones, the only readings I can't do, I do career as well, the only readings I can't do due to UK law are health, law, um, health, law and finance. Those are the three readings I'm not legally allowed to do in the UK. Um, other than that, you're, it, it, it's all good. Um, I also do mentoring as well. I was a teacher, psychic teacher for eight years before I went on YouTube. I've been reading a long, long time. So if you're interested in mentoring, I've got two spaces left for 2020 so far. Um, spaces come and go as, as students come and go and they develop. So just let me know um, if you're interested. All the details are into the description. I'm sending you lot, me and my guides, sorry, I got told off then. Me and my guides are sending you lots of love. Be good, be safe, and I'll speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye.